Apple's returning to the bond market. They're going to sell debt in as many as five parts to finance the current round of uh, share buybacks uh, here. Is that the primary use for this, is re returning cash for shareholders? And it is interesting that they're selling debt to do this rather than using the cash that they have. Right, and that's for the, for the reason that most of this cash is offshore. About 90% of it is outside the US. And to repatriate that money, would, would they'd have to pay a, essentially a 30% tax bill, um, which is not something that anyone in the tech industry is keen to do. So with debt being so incredibly cheap right now, they're able to sell it, and that funds the buybacks. Now, they still get a lot of very good cash flow in the US to fund their operations here, such as R&D and marketing and all those other things. And so there's probably when they say that they are going to use it for, for, to repay or reward shareholders with buybacks and dividends, that's very much the case. And why, what about the timing of this particular debt offering? Why do it right now? Well, it tends to come always after they've announced earnings, in the month or so afterwards. And you know, last month they announced earnings, 63 cent dividend, then they've got to go out and pay for those um, dividends. So it's often the case that it comes a couple of weeks after the earnings are announced. Uh, in the past, when they've done uh, debt offerings, uh, what has the appetite been like? And do we have any idea of, of uh, the appetite for, for this particular offering? So I'm not sure of the appetite for this particular one just yet, but I think the previous one was oversubscribed and they had to, I think they ended up selling twice as much as they had initially intended. We don't know just yet how much they plan to offer and how much they plan to raise, um, but the appetite for Apple um, you know, uh, debt is pretty considerable.